went and contacted the property owner and she said she was going to rehire another attorney. In the process, she gave us permission to work on this land. I told you, listen, Mr. P I'm not arguing with you. I don't know why you're arguing with me. You're just not going to get paid because you were smart enough to give me the correct answer. You knew that the only way to transfer property is by transferring a deed to the property that has to be done after a proper closing. You I know that. Your Honor. You know that. You but know that, and anybody, listen to me. I'm going to reverse the scenario with you because I see that you're angry and you think you've been treated unfairly by her and now with the yes, judicial system. Honor. And now with the judicial system. But I'm turning the corner and I'm saying to you, let's say you decided after three months of negotiating with her lawyer that you made an offer that was $10,000 too high and that you could buy a neighboring piece of property for $25,000, the exact same piece of property. So you called her lawyer, or your lawyer called her and said, we've decided not to sell the property. You think she has a right to sue you? Sue you for the three months that the property was off the market because you were negotiating an agreement? The answer is, if that happens all the time and deals fall through. So she wouldn't have the right to sue you. I understand that, Your Honor. The real estate deal itself is null and void. But the work that was performed, I feel I should be paid for. I don't care what your feelings are. We don't deal with feelings. Feelings, you go to Dr. Phil. I'm Here not a charity, Your law. Honor. Here we deal with the law. And I the work law, hard for the we... money that I earn. Well, just a second. You didn't earn any money. I did perform 200 hours of labor on this land. Then you are a charity because you're not getting paid for it. Now, you have a ridiculous counterclaim. Your claim is for trespass, and he took down some trees. A, did you relist the property? Question. Yes. Did you relist the property with what realtor? It wasn't with a realtor. With who? It was private. It's with a, um, a gentleman down the road. Just a second. Did you consummate that deal? Yes. You consummate for how much? Uh, one fifteen. For one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. It's <laughs> two different two different properties. No, 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 no. For the one that he wanted. Okay. Um, so that the part that he wants that is for twenty four. So you sold it to the same person. No, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judge. Um, it's it's two pieces of property. It's 115. So I want to say 60,000. Just 70, a second. 75, Did you sell 000. it to the same person? Yes. The same. So person you sold the same person two parcels of property that you own. Correct. And how much property altogether is it? How many acres? It would be. 12 acres. And he 12. was buying 2. eight. Yes. Is that correct? Eight yes, and right. change. Yes, 8.35. So you sold 12 acres to somebody for 115. The, the total of both is 115. The judge. total for both for was both. 115. Correct. For the eight acre parcel that he was going to buy. Yes. Right? Yes. And the 2.2. For 38. And for another four acre parcel. It's really, it's 2.2. Two. I'm or, wrong. Whatever it was, it was less yes. Yes. for 115. Correct. You almost got a good deal. But you didn't. Case is dismissed. We're done. Why is our excuse? You may step out. I am thrilled because Joe is a pushy guy. I'm very aggressive because it's something I believe in. We wanted to start a farm. I never gave him any permission whatsoever to go on the property and do it. And this was our vision. And she stole it from us. And he didn't enhance the property. He left the garbage there. He cut down trees. I believe that this woman, Joan Bernier, is a bad human being who's profiting off the back of my hard labor. I'm glad it's over. And I love Judge Judy. She saw right through him. To be continued, because I don't give up.